Say. Say, Crash, what you got? Oh, you got, you got a yo-yo? What, what you doing? Oh, oh. You better be careful, dude. I, I, I get, oh, oh, thanks for putting that away, man. I can't. It's seizures. Stop flying at me. I can't take it. What are you doing now? Wait, what you thinking about, Crash? It's just standing there. Making me nervous. Oh, no. You're getting out again. No, Crash, don't. D <laughs> okay. Welcome back, everybody. We're in a new warp room. And it's ice. Yeah, let's just struggle. Let's just strut along a little bit. I'm making my way downtown. With my favorite niche. I'm gonna have my girl make me a sand hand wish. Oh. I'm getting talked just now I'm getting talked to. <laughs> I see that okay. River Rue failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. You but know, Cortex, I, yeah, I felt a little, uh, there are felt like I was hung out to dry a little bit down there. To be exact. I just, the planets will align there was no warning about Ripperoo or anything like that. And this will a power I just noticed Crash's teeth. Look, he's got like a really bad underbite going right now. Yeah. Yeah. The crystals can absorb Looks like one of those stupid zombies on the Walking Dead video game series. Yeah. Man, I Trust hate that video game series so much. That's why I'm playing this one. This is a good game series where people care and invest in the animation. Because I was watching, I was watching somebody play season three. I was watching the best friends play season three of Walking Dead: The New Frontier, and it was so bad from every standpoint the story was bad the animation was absolutely horrible and the gameplay was flip-flopping man it, it was disgusting but um you guys see this uh you see this adorable little polar bear see this little polar bear crash is excited to see him you know what uh you know what i do to uh baby baby uh you know what i do to baby polar bears Step on him. Take it, back. Take it. Back. 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 There we go. Yep, he gives you 10 lives. And I didn't realize I was already up to 38. Jeez. Alright, let's jump into a level real quick. Alright. Unlock a new path by earning the red gem elsewhere. But... So I'm pretty sure that I actually get access to the red gem in this one. I think I get it from this level, at least gain access to it. I can't, man. Oh! Alright. <laughs> Two deaths. That was kind of weird. Going too fast for you. <laughs> too fast. Yeah. I'm Sonic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sh uh, shut up. Oh, okay. I was like, didn't I step on those? Oh, it's cute penguin. Whoa. How did that happen? But I slid. Whatever. I'll stop trying to be fancy pants and just beat the game. Whatever. You all are here for the amazing gameplay of the of, that I put on display consistently because I am the best at the Crash game. I am the king of Crash Bandicoot. I'm nowhere near what the speedrunners do, but I'm probably I'm probably pretty good compared to most. I imagine. Man, get, get rid of your quills. Jeez, that was a long time. Come at me. So, there's the red path, but I forget how you get access to the red gem in this one. I really do. I'm gonna be. Ooh! Maybe not. Oh, I can get that. Oh, gee, my knee. I didn't know that I could get all the way back up there. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to. 
Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Ow. Ow. Oh. Whoa. 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 I assume that. Oh, come on, really? Ugh. Fine. I guess. I get it, okay? I'm bad. Can I go now? He's dead. I get it. At least they fixed the ice physics, for the most part. Because in Crash Bandicoot 2 on PS1, oh man, the ice physics were really hard to work with. He... Crash weighed a ton, and it was impossible to... Man! <clears throat> it was impossible to get his momentum to stop, and you know, it is still kind of an issue in this one, but whoa, I didn't tell him to do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um... I feel like there's a hidden box in this one. It's either this one or Snow Job. Which, yes. That is a name of one of the levels in this game. Intended for kids. Ta-da! <clears throat> oh, 18 out of 18, let's do it! Oh! Alright. Man, I really need to try and figure out how I get the red gem. I can't remember. Just off the top of my head, I can't. Nothing. 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 All this work for nothing. I don't consider this work. This is fun. This is fun. I'm having all the fun right now. Absolutely all the fun. I love that I can. <laughs> Dang it! I love that I can get up close to the mic now, too. Because, you know, whenever I would move my mic before, my microphone. So, breaking the meta for a couple of people, um, I. I, this, I've only been recording with an actual microphone since the finale episode of Crash Bandicoot 1. And before that, I was using Skull Candy earbuds that have the microphone with them. That's what I was using to record on. And anytime I moved, you could hear it just go into town. I mean, it would pick up the movement so hard, and you just hear a bunch of clicking. Man, you could hear almost anything on that thing because of how close it was to me but now I've got a stationary mic and it's much better I can get super far back and talk loud or I can get right up against the microphone and it sounds great doesn't it sounds real nice and smooth like silk or a baby's bottom wait that's something <laughs> wait that's something that I've thought about that saying smooth as a baby's butt man I tell you I tell you what that there is smooth as a baby's tuckus where did that originate did, did Adam and Eve change one of their children for the first time one of their sons and you know they change them and go oh my gosh what it's like Eve is ch Eve is changing, changing one of the boys, and she starts changing them, and then she just gets this like shock and awe look on her face, like, oh my gosh, and she calls Adam into the room, honey, come here, come here, and she's like, feel the baby's butt, feel the baby's butt right now, it's super smooth, so Adam humors her and feels it, and he goes, yeah, that's that's really smooth, that's that's cool. And she's like, wait, why aren't you more impressed by this? And he goes, I'm still upset about the apple.
Adam and Adam and Eve marriage difficulties. Talking to a counselor. So, so what is the problem? So what is the problem between you two? Eve says, I don't know. I just do. I just do everything to try and get him to get him to approve of me again. And Adam just has this sullen look on his face and says, she doesn't get it. She keeps trying to make apple desserts as a joke, and I don't like it. And the counselor goes, what do you mean with this apple? What do you mean? And he says, it's a long story. We got kicked, we got kicked out of our old place because she ate from a tree and then she told me to try it and didn't tell me that the owner told us to not eat from the tree. And then the counselor lowers his glasses and goes, real talk? <laughs> Loses the accent. Real talk. You gotta drop this girl. And death root. Huh. Long biblical story aside. I think this is a death root that actually lets me go back to the level so I can get the box jam. I think. Oh look at this. Oh, I'm the best. I am best at Crash Game. Not gonna lie, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at the Crash Game. Because like I said, I'm the KING of Crash Bandicoot! Of Crash Bandicoot! Okay, so that's not the box gem. And if I'm correct, I didn't get... Oh, that was weird. My controller vibrated like I hit something. Alright, am I correct? Yep. Okay. Completed the death route. We are good. We got a gem. We're making progress. We're making a lot of progress, actually. I don't know if you guys realize that, but... Um, I'm moving through this game pretty quick. I don't know what the percent complete is that I have so far, but it's pretty significant for how far along it is. I hate this part. Okay. Because for some reason, so in the original game, you could get on the wakeboard, and if you had an Akulaku mask, you could hit one of these bomb things right here, hit one of those water mines. And it would, um, oh, what, what am I trying to say? Oh, uh, it would throw you up in the air when you got hit, and you could land on that platform and get those boxes, but I cannot get it to work in the remake, which would be really strange, because I think that's how you were supposed to get it in the original, like that right there. I'm pretty sure that's how you were supposed to get it in the original trilogy. Um... They didn't expect you to um, do that jump because I don't think that jump can even make it across all those platforms. And, oh man, I did all that work. And that's there's actually a secret route in one of the warp things that I have to do later, like Snow Go. And man, I'm probably going to have to look up how you get the one for Snow Go because I'm, I'm drawing a blank as to how you do it but we're we're continuing on air cr air crash nike and jordan are gonna have an issue with that name sued for a billion dollars um oh one of my favorite levels in all of the Crash games is next, Barrett, where I get to ride Polar, my buddy, my, hey there, buddy chum pal friend, home slice bread slice dog. <laughs> That's what he is. This is kind of like Hog Wild. These are a little harder to complete, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at these. So, give me those eyebrows. There we go. Woof. <laughs> Oh, starting off on a good note. All right, here we go. So I, for some reason, thought that X was the boost button. So, 
man, uh, that is one voice that I can do, but it's like a hit or a miss. There are days where I can do it dead on, I mean nail on the head, just nail it. And then other days, like probably today, where I can't get it for some reason. Why not as hard, bro? Yeah, I need to work on that a little bit more. Brother, don't you, don't you say that you are one of the one of the best at doing voices and stuff like that? Yes, yes, I am. I am. And I say that because I am really good at doing voices and sounds. But a lot of that, and I mean a lot of that, stems from um, I need to see how a person speaks when they do the voice. So there's peeling back the curtain a little bit. A lot of you guys go, man, you're really good at doing voices and sounds. How do you do it so quickly? Well, so my dad was, um, my dad was in choir and shows and stuff like that. He was in theater when he was in high school. And he had a really, really good singing voice. And I don't know if I got a good singing voice, but he has a really, really wide range. <clears throat> and I got that range, but he's also just like me. He's really good at doing voices. I wouldn't say he's as good, just because I put more time into it. But he's really good at it, and I got that from him. But the way that I do it is if I need to try to get a voice and I can't just do it immediately, which is how I'm able to do a lot of them, um, I need to see how the voice actor moves their mouth, how they hold their body, how they, you know, pretty much how they do the voice, their mouth movement, everything like that, their lips. That actually does factor into me being able to do the voice because if I can see how they do it I can probably replicate the voice that's how I got Tom Kenny Spongebob that's how I that's how I got a couple of the voices that I do <clears throat> one of them that I was able to just do offhand that you guys have probably heard me do is this one right here no oh, it's, it's a wonderful voice to do no oh, it's so much fun and that is actually a voice that um, a YouTube voice actor uh, does all the time. His name is Stamper, and he does a bunch of different voices. He's really good, but our voices, our actual voices are really similar, and that's just the one that he falls back to, so I can just do that voice as well. Um, it's really easy for me to do. I didn't even have to work at it, and it's a lot of fun to do. A lot of people at my job love to hear that one in particular. Um, like uh, we've got a running, we've got a running joke. A channel that I watch is Oni Plays with friends. The channel name is Oni Plays, and um, his episodes are called With Friends because he plays it with some people. And the intro. Oni does a voice very similar to that one, and I do that voice at work a lot of the time, and people like to hear it, so I asked them one day, I said, hey, ask me how I like to do work, and they were just like, oh, okay, how do you, how do you like to do work, and I just go, with friends, and that's how his intro goes for the channel, so it's a running joke at my job now, hey, Griffin, how do you, how do you, uh, how do you like to hang out, with friends, Oh, Griffin, do you, when, who do you want to go to the store with? Friends. <laughs> it has become a running joke, and I love that. You know, the whole voice thing is taken off at my job as well. Because, you know, doing YouTube, it allows me to have some quiet time, just some me time, do something I love, which is play video games. And I know that people are like, no. Video games are, are for children. Why are you playing video games? Well, it's something I've done my whole life since I was three. It helps relieve my stress, and I absolutely love it. And, you know, it gives me time to unwind. And another thing that I love to do is do voices and make people laugh. So it's a way of combining the two into one. And I do it during my free time. And it's just a hobby. If it were to grow into something that were to become serious, that be incredible. Just the number one thing I want to do is have fun while I'm doing this and, you know, make a difference. If I make one person's day better, this is worth it. 
any amount of rage that I achieve, any frustration from the game, you know, any getting, even getting bored, anything like that, it's worth it in my eyes. Because, you know, that could be, when I'm getting angry, that could make somebody laugh, and they might be having a rough day. You just, you never know. So, in me having fun, and possibly getting frustrated at a game or anything like that, doing something I love can make somebody's day better in any way, shape, or form, I'll do it, no matter what. That's that's what I believe in here for, make a difference, no matter how small. And that's what we should all strive for every day. Um, wow, really, really deep, emotional, and thought out lesson aside. Um, let's get back to the fact that I'm getting chased down by a giant boulder and on turbo pads and landmines and I think there's lizards in this one. I'm pretty sure there's lizards coming up. I know that there's a box coming up here somewhere. Yep, this guy. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Yeah, there we go. We're making a lot of progress really quickly, guys. I forgot how well I knew this game. Huh. Man, this is fun. This is fun. Alright, back to the warp room. I'm going to cut this episode short here. I made a lot of progress in this episode. Dang. But, you know, <laughs> you, you know how I do. You know how I do. I barf up crystals. And then there's a gem hiding somewhere. Why is there a popping noise when Crash pulls it out of his pants? I don't appreciate that. Alright. That's a really good place to stop for this one, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and giving all of the support. And as always, I hope you enjoyed.